Hey guys, what's going on? Electric Bike Review greatly values transparency and it should be no surprise that I was hired by this company to do a factory tour. Now this contributes both content and funding to EBR to cover expenses like hosting the sites and forum and travel. Now naturally, a factory tour can't be an in-depth review or an endorsement of a company or a product, but it does help bridge the gap between the rider and the manufacturer, something that I'm very excited to be a part of. Now I've done as little editing as possible to allow the facilities to speak for itself. Thanks for watching. Hey, what's up everybody? I am here at APT Displays checking out the assembly line for uh, what they're making today is uh, an LCD, right? It's an LCD, yeah, display. LCD display. Yeah, so you make other displays, but today it just so happens. Yeah, yeah. just one mold. Just for now they're making the, the LCD, but it's great. So let's go take a look. We'll start at the front of the line and go on down and show you the steps. Okay, let's go. So how many displays do you guys make in uh, one day? Yeah, one thousand. Five thousand? One thousand. One thousand, okay. Each day. One thousand each yeah. day. Yeah. And so, oh wow. This is the first tradition. It's uh, soldering. Soldering, I think. Yeah. So that's where the soldering is done. It looks like you got a few gals on the team here. Mm -hmm. Step by step. It gets tossed onto the belt, then on down. Pre-testing for this yep. position. And this is pre-testing before you go through all the other steps. Yeah. Before assemble, they need to assure everything is okay. Right. Before assembly, you got to make sure all the parts are working. And after pre-testing, we go to the hot glue gun. Yeah. Inject uh, the glue to make uh, it uh, waterproof. Okay. Don't mind me. <laughs> you can smile. <laughs> There's a little itty bitty screw. I can hardly see them. We got more assembly. We go up to the supersonic mounting yeah, super machine well, to make the cover uh, melt together. Ah, make it. To, so this mounts the clamshell together. We'll see it in action. So you probably can't hear it because it's on a microphone, but that sound is, is very, very high pitched. Yeah. So right. this is a the sterilized environment for mounting the glass yeah. onto the display. Yeah. So you can kind of see a little bit of what's going on there. Inside there, um, putting on the glass onto the onto the control unit. They got to make sure everything is nice and clean. So they got the steamer going. Steamer is going to try to sanitize and of course this is all blocked off and everything so don't want people getting in there so it's, uh, uh, Oh a ventilation. Yeah. Oh, yes. great And then after that step we got small parts assembly so the little tiny buttons on the inside yeah. of the button and then the outside of the button Great this position is almost finished. Yeah. And then we need a final testing. Looks very close. Wow. And then it works its way down here for final testing. So they go through all, going through all the functions of the display right after the small buttons were put on. So if you get a display and it works properly, you can thank this gal here. And then over here we have laser engraving, which looks amazing. So that puts a serial number onto the display for tracking or for service. Yeah, or tracking, or service. Mm -hmm. And the package here. Yeah. And then boom, it gets wrapped up to look really pretty, put into a nice clean bag, and then into the box. So thank you very much, Johnny, for showing me the assembly of this, but we're gonna check out the product on bicycles a little bit later on. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. We will see you guys there.
Hey, welcome back guys. So we are here at the office for APT where they do some of the, I presume lots of different things, shipping, receiving, some of the research, some of the planning, yeah, all the, all the fun stuff that uh, requires a desk. <laughs> Anyways, so we're checking out some of the displays. Uh, one that you might remember is this first one right here in front of me. Uh, so this display is one that you may have seen on some electric bikes, perhaps at the show. Uh, perhaps you've seen it on an electric bike near you. Uh, but they've moved on to some other models. This one's now uh, considered, uh, I guess, something that's behind them. Uh, they got this one here that's pretty neat. It has uh, Bluetooth capability. So inside it's got the chip that can communicate with your smartphone through, through an app of some kind uh, to give you real-time directions. So even though they have it set up here, you can take the phone off, put it in your pocket, and then through the directions on the screen, it'll actually tell you where to go uh, in case you're driving around a very crazy place like like in Tianjin, for example. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, so, Johnny, tell me about the new display because this new one looks really amazing. What kind of features yeah. are on it? Yeah. We have a new mode. It's called 500C, this one. And it's a very small and compact mode. And it's also TFT screen. It looks beautiful and have a very dynamic interface here. Mm -hmm. And you can saw. Uh, the outlooking and uh, there is a lot of function for this display right so. so on the on the display what I'm seeing here is it looks like it's it's pretty compact like yeah. you said it's it's very uh, streamlined it's all connected there in a small package and you've got the uh, the up arrow and the down arrow and I'm sure you know what that does uh, that's for pedal assist of course that you can see down here but one thing that's really neat the camera can't really pick it up is that it has a a vibration feedback. So as you're driving along and you're pressing the button for up or down, you can actually keep your gaze up towards the road because you have the little vibration every time you press a button so that you know it's actually being pressed and you don't have to come down here and focus on this little itty bitty number every time you ride your bike around, uh, which is really neat. Uh, I like that a lot. And also this kind of like dashboard display for kind of like a car. Um, yeah, like you get a car. Yeah, when you get the thing moving, the speedometer kind of increases on this bar here. And it looks like we'll get a little bit of help. Right. And we'll show you what that looks like. Get the pedal assist going a little bit. You see the speed increasing there. And then as it slows down, the green will turn to gray as the, uh, as the bike descends in speed. But that's pretty cool. Uh, it's a very, uh, what's the word, recognizable display, at least for people who have owned and driven a car a lot. But if you're someone like me, you ride a car as little as possible. <laughs> it looks like there's a lot of parameters that can be changed on here. So yeah, I can't wait to take it out and try it, especially that, uh, that feedback with the okay. vibration. Yeah. Sounds really great. So let's go outside and check it out. Uh, George from APT Display is going to show us about the electrical components that are all being made by my machines. Yes, right. Yeah. So tell me about this first machine right here. Yes, this, actually uh, this is our professional SMT a production line, mm -hmm. especially for the PC board, PCB board, and uh, on the in display. And the very beginning, the very beginning for this machine. So firstly, you can see some. Um, 
paste. The paste, yes. Mm -hmm. And you can show on the, uh, the melting paste on it. Right. You can see. Although it's not so fast, <laughs> but the quality yes. needs so to be slow. Yes, it needs yeah. to be very exact. Yeah. Very exact. First, all our gentlemen, let me say this. I can see all the processing here. Mm -hmm. All the rod. Okay, so all the processing is done there right, yes. automatically. Exactly. Okay, so if I understand correctly, you take that raw board over there, and then it gets put over here where the, the paste is put on, yes. and that paste is going to become the glue that holds the pieces to exactly. the board. On, and it's all on that stencil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this piece of metal, this big sheet right here, yeah. is a stencil, and then all the paste is slapped over it yeah, yeah, with yeah. the board underneath, which yeah. you can see it kind of moving around yeah, in there. Sure. So that's the board that got the paste put on it, and now it's gonna go zipping into the other part of the machine when it's done. Yes. So we got some quality control in here. Okay. Okay, you you turn to unsafe basket. Right. So this is a board. This is a board that already has the paste on it. You can see the little spots. Very wide. There's a piece of on here. Mm -hmm. And is this for this is for two displays or one display? Uh, I think it's two because it's like duplicate. Yeah. Anyway, let's put that back there. And then actually, you can see different electronic small parts such as uh, resistance and mountings carry these. Okay. So it so these are all the little pieces, the resistors, the diodes, yes. the. All those little electronic parts that are, yes. I don't quite get. <laughs> and each one of these is put onto those specific places yeah. on the board that have the red paste. There are so many different. Yeah, there's so many different ones. Yeah. It's, yeah. Do you know? What's that? Do you know so many different kinds of electronic parts? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I, I can't remember so many. <laughs> no, it's fine. I, okay. I don't remember all the small parts either. It's, uh, so, yeah. But when they come out of the machine, yes. then they look like this. So you can see a lot of these are already, a lot of these little pieces are already populated. They're already on the board, but there's some big pieces left. Yeah. And the big pieces must be done here. Yeah. yeah, you can see they're all, there's a big piece and each one of these is gonna go through. Yeah. Same with this side. And then what's happening here? This is inspection. 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 Okay. We fall into this uh, uh, heating uh, heating stall. Okay. So before everything gets heated up, yes, it has to go through inspection. Yeah, yes, by yes. hand, by a human. Yeah, yes, by human. Yes. You are doing very good. <laughs> All right, so this is the big heat heater right yeah, here. Heater, yes, rock. <clears throat> Looks like there's nothing to see. <laughs> Not very exciting. After heating, like this. So after heating, so this is done. This is very close to being done, but the problem is it has to be tested first. And so it goes into this big machine, which it's, it's machines like this that are gonna put me out of a job. And I'll show you why, because the, the responsibility of this machine is to take photographs. <laughs> so it's going through every single part of the board yes. and matching it up with a correct board yes. and taking pictures of all the little pieces, yes. making sure every little tiny, tiny bit is in its proper place. And then we got final human inspection again. Yeah, yes. To go they through each little one piece. By one, very carefully. Mm -hmm. Very much. Okay. For every little bit and piece. Yes. And so this is a big, big part of quality control. At one time, I actually did circuit boards myself a long time ago yes. by hand, and it's a daunting process. But having the capability of doing it with a machine, mm -hmm. it's that's how they can make so many circuit boards and make them so well with such high accuracy. Yes. Is because they have 
some amazing equipment that can do this and churn out a thousand displays a day. Oh, I love it. I love you, it. You, you, I love it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and then they get put in this big box and then they get put in the big box and they get taken across the way where they make the final display. Um, and you'll be seeing some of that. Either you already saw it or you will see it. I'm not sure how to edit this yet, but <laughs> I'll see you later. See you later. <laughs> Well, that was a lot of fun. We got to go try out uh, some bikes that feature the APT display, both the one that has the directions and the newer one that has the uh, uh, feedback and everything. We got to see how they're made, both on the electronic side and on the assembly side. So thank you very much, uh, Johnny, for showing me the, the company. And I also want to be a big thanks for uh, I mean George and Andy here uh, for showing me around. And yeah, is there anything else that you want to say to everyone out there? Uh, we have a good team. We have uh, many uh, very excellent engineers. Ah, and okay. We have some, uh, I think, uh, good uh, products for e bike. Ah. So uh, I have uh, one thing I want to mention. We have another type of uh, 500C. Ah, okay. Uh, it's uh, designed for road bike. It's for a road bike? Uh, another okay. size of a uh, handlebar. Oh, I see. So the regular ones that clamp onto something about, you know, yes. like there, but this one fits a road bike that has a much wider profile yeah. there. Yes, yes. Great. Yes. Well, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Be sure to check the links below or participate in the forums on electricbikereview.com if you want to see more videos from this trip or if you want to learn more about APT displays. So thank you very much, guys. You're welcome. Bye-bye. 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 Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye, -bye. <laughs> Bye, -bye. <laughs>